Good morning. This is Lisa with the State Port Pilot with the very first edition of A Good Newsletter. And I'm here with Kate Marshall, who is the Animal Protective Services Officer for the City of Southport. Once a month, we are going to have Kate visit with us and she is going to answer your questions about pets and about local wildlife. My main role is to enforce the animal welfare ordinances and keep people safe and their pets safe within the city limits of Southport. We also have a wide variety of animals in this area, so my calls for service can also include wildlife, uh, alligators, pelicans, snakes, fox, so it kind of covers a wide variety. Every June, both National Adopt a Cat Month and Foster a Pet Month are observed to raise awareness about ways to help animals in need. We'll be learning more about adopting, home for good, and fostering off to a good start in this first edition of Ask Miss Kate. You have your very own special story about adoption. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I do. Um, uh, my little dog, Augie, was a complete rescue. Previous to this job, I used to work for River Road Animal Hospital, and um, we were outside having a meeting at lunchtime, and this uh, family that had found a little dog on the side of the road came up to us, and he was all wrapped in a blanket, and he'd been uh, very se severely injured. So we took him in, and Dr. Travis did an evaluation, and we decided to do everything we could to save him and he went through surgery and I happened to be on, on call that weekend. So Augie came home with me and I monitored him over the weekend and I fell in love and that was it. So he's, he's still with me. When people want to adopt a pet, what are some things that they need to know before they adopt? The biggest thing, uh, whether it's a dog or cat, you wanna find a pet that fits in with your lifestyle. You have to consider where you live, uh, if you have a fenced yard, if you want to have to walk the dog every day, the activity level of the pet. Uh, if you are a Netflix and chill kind of person, likes to sit in a chair and read a book, maybe a big uh, adventurous dog is not really what you need. They, they may look perfect and you may look on TV or Facebook and see the dog that you think is great, but maybe that personality is not going to match yours. You want to find an adventurous dog if you're adventurous, if you like to be on the water, a dog likes to be on the water. So try and match your energy level. And also, uh, if you have kids, will the kids get along? If it's a, a dog that's uh, an older dog, maybe needs some more quiet time, you really kind of have to make sure it fits with your whole entire lifestyle. Puppies are great and they're a lot of fun, but puppies are a lot of work. So, and senior dogs are uh, just as loving and they need a great home. They uh, are already housebroken, they already set in their ways and they aren't gonna uh, have a lot of the behavior problems maybe that the puppies would have. Right, exactly. And, it, and senior dogs, it's very important. They, uh, they are often overlooked at the shelter and uh, they just need a few years in a good home that'll give them lots of love. If you want to check your local animal shelter, which is what I advise, they've got a huge selection. Big, small, mixed breed, purebred, you name it, you can find it there at the animal shelter. You can contact your local rescues. Uh, they have a great resource. A lot of those pets have been fostered, so they kind of know their personalities and can kind of match them better with what you need. And if you already have a pet, you can take those pets with you oh. for pet visits and you can see if everybody gets along. They've got areas outside where you can do a meet and greet and they can answer any of your questions and uh, it's, it's always a great resource. Tell me a little bit about fostering. Fostering is when you take a pet into your home for a temporary period of time Either it has some um, anxiety being at a shelter and it just needs a quiet place. You keep it temporarily and you wait for it to be adopted. So you're kind of helping it out and you are also doing an assessment because you'll have it in your home where it will live. And sometimes your behavior is different in a shelter situation than it would be in a home. And you just give it lots of love and attention and get it ready to be adopted. 
your commitment can be a, a weekend commitment, just to get the dog or out of the shelter for a weekend or cat. Um, it could be a long term, let's say the pet is recovering from a surgical or a medical issue and it needs to be recuperating in a quiet place. So it's kind of up to you. Right now we're in the heart of kitten season. So um, every day there's calls for litters of kittens that have been picked up and they're a little bit scared and they need a place to stay until they can be adopted. And the animal shelter does a fantastic job of getting kittens adopted, but they can be uh, a little busy and there can be lots of kittens. So in order for them to, to get good socialization and get good skills, they send them home with you and it's called foster to family. So generally, depending on the age of the kitten, it's fostered until they're about eight weeks old. And so you could have them for two weeks, you could have them for the whole eight weeks. The kids do a great job. The kids are great advocates. Sharon Venus and her granddaughters have been great. They are actually my kitten caretakers. They've get, been given certificates. I think it's maybe six litters that they've helped wow. socialize. And that's a key importance, that those kittens can then be taken to the animal shelter or delivered to a home, and they already have all the skills they need. They're not gonna hide, they're not gonna be afraid of people, they're just ready to be loved, and it's so much fun. So if somebody wanted to foster, um, what kind of things do they need to prepare their home for? Do they need to go get some food, or how does that work? Well, actually, uh, my foster program here, I provide them with everything they need. Wow. I'll provide them with food, I provide them with canned food, uh, kitty litter, kitty litter boxes, anything you need, you just sent home with a kit and, and it's it's like an all-in-one. So kittens and all your supplies. Wow, so it's turnkey, you're just providing the safety and the love. Yes, yes, that's the awesome. most important part. <laughs> we get the tiniest kittens that need to be bottle fed. Oh. Those are very important that they go to foster homes. Again, we'll teach you the skills you need to take care of them. We give you the formula and the bottles. So uh, again, like you said, it's a turnkey. We just need the homes and the love. So if somebody wanted to contact you about that, how would they get a hold of you? They can get a hold of me via my email, kmarshall at cityofsouthport.com. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Kate. I appreciate it. I look forward to talking with you next month. And again, um, we're looking for you guys to send in any questions that you might have about our local wildlife here or your very own pets. But Kate is not a licensed vet, so please don't send in medical questions. Please go to your vet and ask those questions about your pets. But any other questions that you might have, send them to me, lisa at stateportpilot.com, and I will make sure they get to Kate, and we will see you next month. Mm -hmm.